Hi everybody, time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Vole. It may not seem like it, but today is the first day of spring break, but lunch service continues at school district sites, and today they actually even added breakfast as well. All of these sites are open from 10 a.m. to noon, Monday through Friday. Anderson, Fruit Valley, Ogden, Roosevelt, and Washington Elementary Schools. There's also Discovery, Jason Lee, and McLaughlin Middle Schools. Pickup is available to any child from newborns through 18 years old or currently enrolled in high school. District staff is on hand to pass out meals near the front door. All right, joining me now is Melinda Wilson. She works at McLaughlin Middle School and has been doing lunch handouts for the last couple of weeks. Melinda, thanks for taking the time to uh, join me. You're very welcome. So what is the day like for you as, as this is much different than your normal routine? So normally we go in and we would just cook the food and it would stay on pans and then we would serve it, you know, out of these pans. Now we cook the food and then we wrap it in foil or saran wrap or whatever we have, you know, depending on hot or cold. Then we have to put it all in brown bags. And so it, it may be a smaller amount of kids that we're feeding, but it takes longer to do because everything has to be packed in these paper bags now. Sure. And it's, so it's not just like bologna sandwiches or something. These are full nutritious meals. Yes. Like today we had cheeseburgers, carrots, milk, um, apples, and then they are, we are now also doing breakfast. And so there was a cold cereal and a juice and, um, I'm not sure what else was for the breakfast. <laughs> well, let's talk about breakfast. Why was it important to add that into the, to the offering? Well, there's, especially in some of the schools that we're serving out of, like Washington, Fruit Valley, Mac, um, there's a higher percentage of free and reduced at those schools. And so a lot of these kids, they, they only eat at school. And so it was important to give them breakfast and lunch so that they would have two meals a day. Mm -hmm. What kind of reaction are you getting from families as they come to pick up the food? Well, they're very thankful. It's fun to see the kids. They get all excited when you tell them what's for lunch and they're excited to get their lunch. And we've had, we've had people in tears that they're just so thankful to get the food that they're getting. Sure. It's been very nice to see how thankful they are. Yeah, I would imagine that's very gratifying for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, standing in the cold, you know, it makes it worth it when they're happy and they're thankful. <laughs> And uh, they can't huddle up for warmth either. We're practicing social distancing. Has that been going well, people observing the, the six-foot rule? Well, they, with our school, and I believe with the other schools, they're just driving up curbside, and we hand it through their window so nobody gets out of their cars, and we hand it through their window, and then they drive off. So it's, you know, they are at home, they get in their car, they drive to us, then they drive right back home. So they're not interacting with anyone except for their own family members. Oh, that sounds really convenient. Now, now yeah. bes besides you, who else is, obviously it's not just you on site, who else is helping you? Who's part of your team to get this done? Well, I have uh, mostly just my team that I normally have um, right now where we've started out and after next week, then a different group will come in for a couple of weeks. And so we're taking turns so that more of nutrition services can work. And I'm not sure about the other schools. They've got like kind of a collection of different people from different schools sure so they're trying to get as many nutrition services as they can by rotating around and um you know getting some hours in sure so you have some numbers uh what kind of uh turnout are we getting at, at the school site at least at the one you're working at so the one i personally am working at normally we feed um about 850 kids between mac marshall and lisa that's that's who i normally feed and we're feeding um, about three, 350. So we've got a lot of kids that normally eat lunch that aren't eating and hopefully, you know, they're getting some food at home. Um, but the numbers across the district for the eight schools that are serving, we're serving about, or in the last couple of weeks, about um, 7,500 kids. Wow. Um, well, so, is, there anything, is there anything you would want to say to the families who are, uh, you know, using your services or anything? huge thing I want them to know is we're serving this week, which should have been spring break. Um, so that's a big deal because maybe they didn't know that. 
and just you know we're 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 prepared to make as many meals as we need to they just need to let their friends and family know and then just keep coming we see people walking down the street and we holler at them if you know any kids send them over if we're yeah, gonna I mean, be that's out really there important point you know. because not all the students at mac for example who are eating at mac go to mac um not all the schools have lunch sites there are a lot of them across the district but anybody you know can come get that food any 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 students can come get that food. yes any anybody um and it doesn't matter what school district they're from it doesn't matter you know which school they go to we have these eight schools open and anybody from anywhere can come get food for their children it's a pretty cool resource for our community no questions asked yeah. Just get yourself some yep. uh, nutritious food for your student yep we say how many how many lunches do you need and they tell us and we just hand it over great well, keep up the good work. Um, I think a lot of people are proud of what you guys are doing, and, and I hope that uh, you guys are staying safe and, uh, and enjoying this, I mean, as best you can. Yeah, we're staying, you know, we always wear gloves and wash our hands on a regular basis anyway, but, you know, we're doing that, and then we take sanitizer out with us, and if, you know, we try and hold the top of the bag, and then they grab the bottom of the bag, and if we happen to touch someone, then we'll sanitize our hands, and so we're doing, you know as sure. best as we are in the public <laughs> well thanks for taking the time to, to join me and um have a great day absolutely you too thanks and it's important to remember there are other resources available if you need food during this tough time local food pantries are operating they also need donations and that's an easy way for you to help out as well if your school has a family community resource center the coordinators can be reached by phone to provide assistance school websites have those phone numbers listed before we go, I wanted to share something kind of cool that was forwarded to me. A student at Fruit Valley Elementary School had a special delivery for staff members. Take a look. The student brought home face masks for two staff members to show her appreciation for their work. She said they were very touched by the gesture and wanted to say thanks, and I wanted to show you. So great job, everybody. It's just a cool way of showing how our community can come together. And thanks for watching this quick look. Until next time, I'm Nick Bull. Have a great spring break.